Hey everyone, Brian with Aero Teardrops, and in this segment we're going to talk about the electrical system that is built into the steel and steel HC models with the classic cabinetry. So if you've got the, if you, your trailer has the shaker doors, we consider that the classic cabinetry. And at the foot of the bed is the power center, and that controls everything uh, electrical in the trailer. To open the cover, you're going to press at the top and it'll drop open. On the left here, you have your main circuit breaker and your 15 amp circuit breaker that runs the converter and your 120 volt outlets that are in the galley and in the cabin here. On the right are the 12 volt DC fuses that run the 12 volt side of the trailer. And um, each one of those fuses has a blown fuse indicator, so a little red light that will turn on if you ever blow a fuse. So if something in the trailer that's 12 volt porch lights, USB ports, reading lights, the stereo system, Propex, uh, vent fan, etc., uh, stops working suddenly, the first place to check is in here to see if there's a blown fuse. And I'll pull a fuse here and you can see what the indicator looks like when you pull a fuse. So you see how that came on? It's because the circuit isn't complete anymore. So um, the red blown fuse indicator will come on. And you simply check the fuse, see if it's blown. There's a little filament in there. If that has a hole in it, your fuse is bad. Good idea to keep a few extra fuses on hand anyways. And you'll just replace the fuse by pushing it back into these tabs here. Up here in the center console is the stereo system, which is optional in all of our steel models. So if you've selected the stereo, this is where it'll be located. It's a, a Bluetooth compatible, they call it a media center now, um, simply because they removed the CD players from them, but it's AM, FM, uh, it'll uh, receive Bluetooth. It's got an auxiliary port, a USB port. Um, so yeah, lot, lots of different ways to enjoy music while you're camping. Above that, to the left, is a 12 volt power port. This is the thermostat for the Propex system if you've selected that option. 120 volt um, electrical outlet to the left of that. Again, only powered up when you're plugged in to shore power or on a generator, so your 120 volt outlet or inlet on the side of the trailer needs to be connected to something 120 volts in order to have these live. Uh, you, we, you can do an optional inverter. There are trailers that we've installed inverters in, but uh, that's uh, purely an optional item. So standard, the trailers come configured this way. Next to that is the heat outlet for the Propex system. And then above us, we have the stereo speakers for the Bluetooth stereo system two LED interior lights. And the powered roof vent, which is an optional item if you do the, the Fres Air cooler. Standard would be a center mounted uh, powered roof vent or we would replace that with the Fres Air cooler. In this case, the customer requested that we also install a fresh air or a uh, um, powered roof vent. Up in the corners there are two reading lights, one on each side, and they power up by pressing the button once to have the night light and holding again to come up to full power. And below that, some USB ports for charging devices. And that covers the electrical system inside the cabin.